Alrighty, everybody, this is Peepa7 again. I'm taking out my micros, and I'm going to show you a quick way to take out your micros or natural hair that has not been extended. First thing you want to do is get yourself um, one of these. This is a moisturizer leave in conditioner. This one's called Organic. Maximum Strength Extra Virgin Olive Oil Moisturizing Growth Lotion. It's a long label. Just look at the picture. Buy this picture. I took some, not a lot actually, and I put it on my braids. And then I actually took the braids and braided them into, you know, bigger braids. Now what you're going to do is take the smallest comb you own, in my case it's this one, which actually is broken off from years ago, but as long as part of three years ago, I will keep using stuff. And then you're just going to very gently comb through as if you were actually combing out a regular braid, except for you're being very careful since you have many extensions in there. And the reason I'm doing it this way is because it's easier to remove a big braid instead of a bunch of itty bitty braids. And as you can tell now, most of the you know little individuals are halfway done. So now I'm gonna take a clip and clip that out the way. And then I'm going to go to the next section. Oh, and I always take and put my fist around like this. That way, if there's any pulling or whatever, I do not fill it at the root level. And we're doing the same thing. When you microbraid natural hair and you don't ball hair from the individual strands while you're doing it and you don't extend it, you can literally just comb bite right on through. As long as you do it gently. And if you happen to get a little tangle like that one there. The moisturizing lotion that you put on it makes it all nice and slippery. So it's easier to work out. And be very gentle and concentrate right there on that end. That way you don't end up with any breakage. And you don't end up with any tears or snacks. As you can see. And if you do happen to end up with a little clean snack, try to work it through. Or you could cut it out. depends on how comfortable you are of losing any kind of lymph at all. Me, I just try to work them through. Sometimes strand by strand if necessary. Ta -da. Now, same deal as with the last one. Just literally come through it. And if your hair starts feeling like, you know, it's a little rough, Add more of the moisturizer to it. That way it's slightly damp. Or moisture. Or whatever term you want to apply to it. Sometimes I do this my hair coated with conditioner. Sometimes I do it when my hair is completely wet. It kind of depends on how small I made the braid. The smaller the braid, the more protection you want on there. start getting more and more snacks, basically it means you've gone as far as you can with the braided braid. You know what I mean? So that's when I take that out. And as you can tell, 
most of the little micros are pre-started. That's what I call it. But, uh, so now what I'm going to do, oh, first I'm going to clamp this out my way. And usually I pre-start all of them. But since I'm making the video, I want you to be able to see. See how that's already taken a loose? So now you're going to put your finger at the base and smooth it a few times. And while you're doing that, you're going to look for the main twist in the braid. Because if you recall, when you braid, one section is always a little bit wider than the other. And that's usually the main branch of the braid. And that's the part you want to start with the unraveling. Especially if you can find it at the base here. So I used to just take one section of it and I just literally slide it on up. Like this. Ta da! Now all I gotta do is untwist what's essentially a twisted strand after that. And it's a loop. I'm gonna show you that again. This one's a little thicker than the one before it. And that's the only reason why I'm taking the micros out. Hold on. Because I put them in in a grab-and-go type format, so none of them are consistently the same size. I got thick ones, I got thin ones, I got itty-bitty, and I got micro-micros. So now I'm filling for the main branch. Actually, in this one, I can see the main branch. And I'm just going to grab that and slide the rest of the hair away from it. And then all I have to do is unravel what's left. Apparently I borrowed some hair, so I have to use my finger to unravel the part that I borrowed. But still, the technique is the same. You slide it out of the main, and then all you have to do is unravel what's left. Usually in two strands, but in this case, since I borrowed, it might be several strands. But the point is, because of the calming technique with putting everything in a braid and then unraveling the braid, instead of working for five minutes on one braid to remove it, I've already undone two braids. In less than five minutes. And as you can tell, I could comb through that rather easily. Clip that right there. And then you continue until all the hair is done. Because the braid is literally halfway removed just from that technique. Here's the main artery. So we're going to do the same thing and slide it completely away from the braid. And that includes the little borrow section. And since that one wants to tangle, there'll be one few times you see me do this. I generally do not use a comb in my hair, but when I do micro micros or itty bitty braids, the only way you're going to get it out of there is with a comb. Or with the patience of Job. And a lot of time. See that? Just that simple. Now, in the meantime, that's what you do. And when you get to the back, as you can tell, my back is shorter than the rest of it. Um, some of it I can put in a braid. Some of it I can't. This part, I'm just going to literally coat with as much conditioner as the hair can soak up. And then I'll grab it section by section and do the same thing. And then I have to work through completely with my hands. But in the meantime, let's get rid of this one that looks like a horn. So I'm going to anchor it down just until I finish the video. In the meantime, that's how you quickly remove micro braids. 
This is P plus 7, also known as Purple Butterfly Dash Peepla dot blogspot dot com. Y'all stay blessed.